Yo, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? Ooh, we got another video back for y'all, man. Uh, first of all, I want to address first video back after a week. I got a strike. I got a strike on a Monster Hunter video. First of all, let's address YouTube. I got a strike on a Monster Hunter video, and it said hate speech. There wasn't even no audio except Monster Hunter. So unless Monster Hunter is uh almost uh has some hate speech just now. But in Monster Hunter, unless Monster Hunter got some hate speech in it, I'm not sure why I would get a strike. A strike. And then a rejected uh, appeal for a strike. When there's no audio from anybody or anything except the actual video game i find that very confusing and i think the man is trying to take me down but that ain't gonna happen and let's get to the video right so we had damn little yesterday score 71 points 71 points yeah 41 points um in the first half now i saw the 41 points in the first half and i completely forgot about the game because i'm like okay he had 41 in the first half uh, granted let me of preferences they play the Houston Rockets, right? The Houston Rockets are running a not even a G League team. The Houston Rockets are running a college team. They're running a college team. They're playing college offense. They're playing college uh defense with pretty much a college coach. Now I also want to double preface two times. Steven Silas. This man got a spot Maybe two, three years ago, it's been probably this is probably the third year. He got a spot as a head coach after working his ass off of being assistant head coach. I, I'm not gonna go against him, and I'm not gonna root for him here. I don't know either way because he might be a bad coach, but I do know he was an assistant before. And there's here's a young black coach finally getting his shot. This happened in the NFL too. And I, I can't remember what team it was. Uh, a young black coach finally getting his shot as a solver said, these niggas need a nigga. And he comes on the team thinking he about to get at least James Harden, at least John Wall, at least DeMarcus Cousins, at least Christian Wood. All he got was Christian Wood for one year. Basically half a season, Christian Wood was all right. He got Christian Wood for one year. He got no John Wall ever for two and a half years. They was paying him fifty million. He couldn't even get a, a guy that was getting paid fifty million to play for. Him. James Harden bounced instantly. Demarcus Cousins just didn't fit. I don't know what's up with Demarcus Cousins. I think he's just because he fouls a lot and he might have a bad attitude. But he definitely fouls, make the craziest fouls ever. Without having the defensive upside of JJJ Jerry Jackson Jr., that's another video. But this man is gonna—he's coming into a team where he thinks he's about to coach James Harden, John Wall, Demarcus Cousins, and Christian Wood. Two years later, he has none of them. He has Jalen Green, Kevin Porter Jr., Jabari uh, Smith, and uh, Alfred Singoon fine young players but nowhere near anything right now because they just gave up 71 but what the video is about is i want to go just look through the scoring games just scoring we've had a lot of triple doubles a lot of you know yada 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 donovan mitchell 71 points dame lilla 71 points luka Doncic 60 dame lilla had 60 uh mb 59 Booker, 58. Davis, 55. Tatum, 55. Giannis, 55. Giannis, 54. Clay, 54. Embiid, 53. Jokic, 53. Not Jokic, uh, Doncic, I'm sorry. 53. Siakam, 52. Yo, uh, I'm sorry, I said it again. Uh, Doncic, 51. Booker, 51. Tatum, 51. Garland, 51. Um, uh, Giannis, 50. Curry, 50. Uh, Doncic, 50. Lillard, 50. Booker, 49, Tatum, 49, Morant, 49. Now, 
we hear a lot of talks about the NBA and the defense that's not being allowed to be played. And while I do agree with that, and I mean that in reference to the amount of points being scored per game. And I agree with that. But what I, I don't agree is some of the, the, the sentiment and, and the narrative that these are better players now. I think it's a combination of everything. And I also want to know, when will we get back to the old school? Now, I just ran off uh, at least 20, 30 different scoring, uh, high scoring games. Starting at 71 down to 49. And it's 30 th different things. But the truth of the matter is, it's like the same three or four guys with a couple other guys mixed in. It's, it's basically Doncic, uh, Giannis, and Lillard, and Tatum with some other cats kind of thrown in maybe once or twice. You got the once like Garland. Uh, who, who you may not see a, a scoring thing like that again because he passed first point. And you got Moran in here 49, Clay in here 53, etc. When will we get back to the old NBA? Will we get back to the old NBA? And are these players just better now? I, I, I truly think that the role players are just more athletic, and that's what where we at. Um, but let me know what y'all think. Let me know how y'all think about it. I, I, I the, 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 just looking at the scoring, the scoring performance is, is just ridiculous. Um, but I don't know how ridiculous it is because now that I read it off, it's really the same cats putting all these points up. So maybe we just have um, better superstars, or more superstars, or more scoring superstars than we ever had before. But when we get back to the old era, man, there, there's all these talks – uh, they're, they're clearly trying to change the NBA product, clearly, uh, between uh, uh, mid-season tournaments they're thinking about. They, they, they did the, the extra thing with the playoffs, play-ins. Um, they they kind of changed up how they did the also. They're clearly trying to change the game. I, I'm, I'm hearing talks, well, I'm reading talks, hearing talks like I'm uh, in a fucking office about them um, potentially lowering games. It's clear that they're trying to change something and it's pretty clear that the fans and the franchises because of the no the, the, the fans because of the franchises don't care about the regular season the clippers don't care about the regular season they haven't for like four years and it hasn't done anything for them there's plenty other teams that are like that what do y'all think about this these changes um do you think there needs to be changes uh i i don't think the a uh, lower Lord seasons, games in the season really uh, matters. I don't think it does anything. I think it should stay at 82. I think we have a lot of records that just could not be broken. If you cut the game, the records down by, or the season down by 10 games. Um, so I think a lot of things would change in the record, but maybe you extend the roster, uh, give these guys an extra roster spot or two so they can play more guys. I, I'm not sure. Let me know what y'all think. Um, it wasn't vert. This is crazy. It's just it's just so many dynamic that? scores that we have, but the, the game is getting more stale. Um, and we'll see. You know, we had Donovan Mitchell score seventy one. Uh, unfortunately for him, he had something that was bigger news, uh, which is uh, Demar Hamlin pretty much dying on the field. But let me know what y'all think. How do y'all like the NBA product in the regular season? We know the playoffs is always amazing, amazing, amazing ever every year. We've had amazing playoffs every year, except for like two years in the last 20. Um, so I don't think it's the playoffs. I think it's the regular season. Let me know what y'all think. How like your boy. Spider asked me to get a crew together to take the prison back from the Barons. And you did great. So uh, I'll clean up behind you. And Spider will sell this place back to the